A massive board ape crypto scam has been plaguing the community for the past week or so. Should you be worried or and how will this affect the ape coin price? Find out in today's episode guys. What is up guys welcome back to crypto whale and in today's news we have apecoin sitting at 12.9 dollars of value uh, down seven percent in the last 24 hours as we can see uh, apecoin was holding its value throughout the day but in the past eight hours or so it saw a cliff drop this is not something to be too worried about as we've seen this happen with multiple coins today so it's definitely not apecoin's fault but what is the today in, t uh, in today's news about apecoin as we've seen ma a massive uh, crypto hack has been taking place on twitter surrounding board ape nfts so let's get into this 35 nfts including board apes stolen via phishing attack in the last week alone at least 35 nfts have been stolen due to a widespread phishing attack involving hacked twitter accounts according to data from blockchain analytics company elliptic scammers have made off with at least nine hundred thousand dollars in nfts over the past week per elliptic five of the stolen items were board ape mutant ape and or board ape kennel club nfts and nine high profile individuals have reported falling victim to the attack earlier this month byc launched an airdrop of apecoin tokens for board and mutant ape nft holders for this attack scammers hacked multiple verified twitter accounts in order to promote links to a url impersonating an apecoin token airdrop site some of the twitter accounts had more than 50,000 followers Unsuspecting victims who clicked on the phishing links included both BAYC NFT owners and non-holders willing to cough out 0.33 Ethereum or $1130 to take part. However, instead of registering for the chance to claim ApeCoin tokens in a new airdrop, they found themselves faced with malicious code that gave the scammers access to their wallet. The tweet looks strange, but this is someone that I had actually followed so I didn't overthink it. I clicked the link uh, in the tweet and was immediately prompted to connect my wallet, which I did not do, explained Aaron Sedina, co-founder of NFT themed vaping company Gather Bars, in a tweet thread detailing how his uh, number 12, uh, 2017 and number 2904 Gather Cats were taken. After clicking cancel, the prompt, prompt kept popping up over and over again. I clicked cancel a few more times, then caught on to what was happening and tried leaving the site, but my screen was locked. Sadina describes how despite force quitting the browser, he received a notification that two assets had been transferred from his wallet. Uh, it felt like a punch in the gut. I'm not sure how this was done since I never connected my wallet, he said, adding that third parties later agreed to sell the nfts back to him at cost after this whole ordeal i'll be out 20 ethereum which sucks but it could have been a lot worse so definitely a very very traumatic experience for a coin uh, and byc nft holders something no uh no crypto enthusiast uh wants to happen to them or more specifically the worst case scenario or the worst nightmare of a crypto enthusiast getting their crypto and nfts stolen so a very scary situation but will this really affect the apecoin value well i don't really think so i think this is just a blemish on apecoin's reputation and will be glossed over in the coming weeks or months people will be wary but i don't think the price will be affected i think Apecoin just has too much stuff going for it and too many celebrities backing it up as well as crypto whales. So I think after this decline in value we had and this cliff drop, there is going to be an uptick in value and an upward trend. So make sure you invest while the price is still low, guys. You don't want to be late to the party. So that is it for today's news, guys. Come back tomorrow.